every one of Japan's 47 prefectures posted a population drop in 2022, while the total number of Japanese people fell by more than 800,000, marking a 14-year decline in the country's population. 작년 일본의 인구가 47개 전 행정구역에서 감소했습니다. 일본 전체 인구는 80만 명 이상 줄면서 올해까지 14년 연속 감소세를 보였습니다. Okay, the first expression is prefecture. If you read about Japan, you see this word. It's all the like time. all the time, yeah. right? It it is. It's just a political region, or they sure. call it an, an administrative area. Instead so, of saying province, like we do in Korea. Yeah, right. Yeah. They have prefectures, um, and then they they have local governments, and sure. they they rank right below the federal government. So as you mm. mentioned, provinces in Korea, provinces in Canada, states in the U.S. Yeah. That's the next mm. layer below the federal government. Counties in England. I think. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you're right. I think, <laughs> I think so. I, I lived in the county of Leicestershire when mm, I was in England. Yeah. Anyway, um, prefecture라는 건 이제 일본 뉴스에서 항상 들으실 수 있죠. 일본의 지방 행정구역, 뭐 도라든지 현이라든지 이런 것들을 말합니다. 나라마다 이런 용어들이 다 다르니까요. In Japan, prefecture. Just Memorize that, I guess. Yes. Like, and it, it, Some other countries it have it. Of but course. You see yeah. it all the time if you read anything about Japan. They yeah. always mention the prefecture. That's right. And then we we go on to this marks the 14th year in a row or the 14 year decline of Japan's population. Yeah, there it is. In a row, consecutive 14 straight years. Yeah. As we yeah. just mentioned about, about Korea's population, right? Months, yeah, yeah, 43 months, yeah. consecutive months. 그렇습니다. 14-year decline이라는 거는 14년 연속 감소세를 보이고 있다라는 건데요. You can say that Japan's population has declined 14 years in a row or 14 years straight. Yep, and that lines up because yeah. as like all the articles talk about how it hit that peak in 2008 yeah. mm. and then these numbers we're talking about are 2022 numbers. I guess we should exactly. just make that clear. Mm. 14 그렇습니다. years, it's been going down. 네. 아까 헤드라인 넘버 2에서는 기준이 이제 올해 5월이라는 한 달이었다면 자 이번에 헤드라인 넘버 3에서 일본 인구를 보는 것의 기준은요. 작년 한 해입니다. 2022년 